and we are underway in this latest uh, big championship game. And this remains Sawyers who brings it away for Cardiff and has released O'Dowda, the left wing back, who gallops over the halfway line. Counter attack on for Cardiff. Uh, Marquinhos is chasing him back. He's managed to slide it towards the edge of the penalty area. McLean cuts it out, and the ball goes behind for a Cardiff corner, the first of the game. The deflected right remains Sawyers, halfway inside the Norwich half. Played on now to Joe Rawls, who's uh, got a decent record of scoring against Norwich. Now uh, they get the ball to Villagin here, who's on loan from uh, Aston Villa, and hits a shot that is way, way over the crossbar. Seven minutes almost gone. It's goalless on BBC Radio Norfolk. Long uh, ball played up by Allsop, the Cardiff uh, goalkeeper, controlled by Connor Wickham. And uh, the former Ipswich player has released O'Dowd on the left hand side. Low ball into the penalty area. It rules, tees up Wickham on the edge of the box. He takes a snapshot, big deflection, and wide it goes for a corner. And it's given to Max Aarons on the right hand side. Slides it across the width of his own half, and he's given it away to Romeo up towards the edge of the penalty area. Low shot, gunned down smartly to make what was a simple save. But this is one of those games where. You watch the first 15 minutes and you're a little bit worried about Norwich because that was a really poor mistake. Fernandez finding Sorensen, who's playing at left back today for Norwich City. Gabriel Sara gives it to Hanley. Now Cardiff have just dropped off here, everyone's back behind the ball. And that's allowing Norwich to find Aarons high up the field on the right-hand side. Sarah's taken up an intelligent position here, about 25 yards from goal. He's going to hit one as well as Sarah, and it sailed wide. I think this time the reaction of the goalkeeper, Ryan Alsop, he knew that he was so confident that was missing. There's an encouraging round of applause from the Norwich City supporters, but we've not seen much of them as an attacking force. Now Sarah has found his uh, Brazilian teammate Marquinhos, central position, he goes for goal early and the ball is dragged wide. That would have been quite something, Marquinhos and Sarah, who did play together in Brazil. So they'll know each other well, teaming up there and you could see Marquinhos looking to get his name in lights early on in his Norwich career. McLean, still nil-nil for Norwich City. Probing, finds Sorensen on the left-hand side, Hernandez in front of him. On the left wing, cutting in towards the penalty area now, O'Neill Hernandez knocks it to the edge of the area. There's a shooting opportunity for Gabriel Sara. I think that was on target, but it was blocked by the head of Mark McGuinness. Cardiff haven't got it away yet. Marquinhos on the right, finds Aarons. Aarons coming forward here for Norwich City. Here's Kenny McLean, 40 yards from goal, delivers the ball into the penalty area. Cut out by Rawls, falls for Sara, 25 yards out. Norwich beginning to build the pressure and turn the screw. Marquinhos on his debut, finds Gabriel Serra, another shooting opportunity. Oh, no one finds the net! Gabriel Serra gets Norwich City going with a driven low shot from 20 yards beyond the despairing Ryan Alsop into the corner of the net. And Norwich City were just beginning to find their rhythm. They were just beginning to get their passing game going. Serra had a sighter a moment ago. He made no mistake with that one. And it's Norwich City 1, Cardiff City 0. Sorensen cutting in from the left hand side he's got into the Cardiff penalty area still going after the challenge from Philogene breaks out to Nunez Norwich fans wanting him to shoot now every time he's got the ball anywhere near the penalty area instead it's been worked back to Sarah and then Hernandez left corner of the box Odell Hernandez in the penalty area to the left of goal he's tightly marked but he's got the ball across and there's Marquinhos and it is Brazilian brilliance at Terra Road they've scored two goals in the space of four minutes first it was Saria now it is Marquinhos on his debut, no mistake at all, belting that one into the net. And after such a promising start from Cardiff, Norwich City really are coming to the party. And it's a bit of a samba because Norwich City are 2-0 up. And it's two Brazilians who've scored the goals.
McLean plays the ball upfield. Ida heads it down into the path of Sorensen. Sorensen tees up Nunez. Can he get in on the act? He's up towards the edge of the penalty area. And he hits a dipping shot that isn't quite dipping enough. But the officials have decided it's a corner. So there must have been a deflection on that. Norwich had their first corner of the game. Scrappy spell of play. And Ryan Wintle, who by the looks of it is now captaining Cardiff. He's got the armband on. Finds O'Dowda on the left-hand side. O'Dowda drifts in field goes past Marquinhos, Cedric Kipra gives it away, and Norwich has released Adam Ida, Ida's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper, can he get there first, he can, goalkeeper's tried to bring him down, but Ida has put it over the top, that was a glorious chance for Adam Ida, Ryan Alsop came racing out of his uh, penalty area there, and, and then hesitated, and then took a chance, he went to Ida, and uh, Ida tried to go round him, I think there was contact, and it's one of those where if Ida had gone down, and you can see there's contact because both of them are hobbling, if Ida had gone down, the referee may well have had to send the goalkeeper off but he's so desperate to score he kept going but here's Ida holding up the ball well for his team that part of his game he's done well today and in the second half on Tuesday as well here's Sara in the midfield Gabriel Sara looks for the run of Hernandez what a pass that is Hernandez puts it wide what a terrific pass from Gabriel Sarah, only just inside the Cardiff half. And no wonder he's getting a pat on the back from Kenny McClay. From just inside the Cardiff half, he picked out the perfect ball, floated it into the run of Hernandez, who didn't have to break his pace at all. Oh, and he terrific. got to the ball, but he's just put it wide. Ball's run free, and it's Gabriel Sarah for Norwich City with a lovely little back heel to Kenny McClay. McLean looking to release Yanoulis, the substitute, it's a good pass, he's onside, Yanoulis in the penalty area for Norwich, across the Pukki, goalkeeper makes the save, and the rebound is poked wide by Jollis. Well, Norwich suddenly bursting to life as an attacking force there, Jollis couldn't get his second goal of the week, and Pukki, have to go back to September since he last scored at Carroll Road, and he couldn't quite get on the end of that one. well and truly in top six contention as we head really into what you'd consider to be the run-in of the season here's uh, sorry Cabot on the left-hand side for Cardiff though they're two nil down but he's in the penalty area here for Cardiff takes it back out of the penalty area. good tackle for oh, I said good tackle from McClay and he's furious but a free kick's been given against him right on the edge of the penalty area see whether Cardiff can get on the score sheet here it is Perry NG he whips it goalwards and Gunn has to tip it over the top fairly comfortable save in the end there wasn't quite enough pace on it Gunn just had to take a couple of side steps and turn it over the bar and Jollis does superb as well to keep that ball in play on the left hand side but then he gives the ball away but no he doesn't he wins it back with a bit of help from Nunez brilliant from Jollis now Liam Gibbs plays it through to Puki. Puki edge of the Cardiff penalty area chips it over the goalkeeper and over the bar as well that would have been some way for Puki to end his wait for a Carrero goal, beat the keeper all ends up, and then it was just about where the ball would drop, and it dropped onto the top of the net rather than in the back of it. Sawyers gets the better of Puki, drops one forward there for Cardiff, header away from Gibson. A clean sheet would mean a lot for Angus Garn if he could keep that. But he might be tested here. Philogene coming forward for Cardiff, edge of the penalty area. Sidestep Jollis, gets the shot away and hits the post. Oh, that's the closest Cardiff have come to scoring. Jaden Philogene, who started this game in fairly lively fashion, is ending it in lively fashion as well. That bouncing shot from the edge of the box. Gun was sprawling for and it, it hit the post and went out of play. 